Right, so we're in design space and we're looking at line type and fill. And this is January 2019, so these are new features at this point. They don't enable us to do anything new in design terms or in like material terms, but they do make what we have done before so much less time consuming and they're so welcome. And to show you how it works, I'm going to create a shape in the left-hand margin. And that's the same that we would have done in the past. It's like you click on shape, you get a choice between a square or a circle. I'm going to choose a circle, okay? So I get this big gray circle. And the border around it, as has always been the case, it just shows that it's active. And in the right-hand margin, you can see that um, that's what we're working on has been, well, you know, it's slightly darker gray, isn't it? But now it says cut alongside it. And in the past, you would have seen this little circle that had a like a scissors icon in it. And to change what, like the behavior of it, to change this from cut to score or print and cut or um, write, you would have had to click on that circle and then this layers attribute panel would pop up and you'd have to change it. Now you don't do that now, you can't do that now. What you have to do now is choose from this new line type area in this top section here. And there's this little drop down. If you click on this arrow and it says cut at the moment, okay, change it to draw. You can see it goes to this single line that's ready to draw. And then while it's still selected, I'll just choose score. And then it changes to a dashed line that indicates it's gonna be scored. Now, if I, again, if I click on it again, I'll move it back to cut. You can see that there's a square alongside it. So if I want to change the color of the vinyl or the paper that I'm cutting, then I just change those colors here. And in the past, that would have been in this right-hand margin. There would have been a color here too and a separate panel, a layers attribute panel again that I needed to click, up, so click on. So that's much easier to change. But it works the same way if, if I select draw. This... Um, just outline square if I click on that I get the choice between these specific pen names but also I get to choose from this drop down at the top the thickness of or type of the pen and okay that might not seem that exciting but I'm gonna go back to cut right and then right I'm gonna create a few different shapes I'll create a star why not um, I'll create a triangle, okay? Right, in the past, what would have happened is, you know, if I'd wanted to change all three at once, I couldn't change all three at once. I would have to go to the circle and I'd have to click here and have to change it to cut and change the color and change the star. And I'd have to change them all separately. And um, if you're doing quite a complex pattern, that's really, really awkward. It's really annoying, it takes forever. But now all I need to do is left, click and drag over them all and then I can apply the same change to all of them whether that's to change it from cut to draw to score or to change it to cut and just change the colors to all the same thing the same color and um, that is such a big difference and um, I'm really glad about it but um, aside from that you might be thinking well, well what about print and cut how does that work um, Alongside line type, you'll see this thing that says fill. Now I've got this circle selected now. And while you're in these other options, if you're in draw and score, you don't get the fill option. So to use fill, you need to be in cut. So if I go in cut, it says no fill currently. And while no fill is activated, you can see this red diagonal line means I can't do anything with it. So I need to go to print to do any sort of print and cut. Now, to, to, to have the options that I used to have to edit uh, print and cut, I need to click on this square alongside it. Now that will enable me to change the, if, if I want to print and cut a circle in light green or gray or blue or anything, I'll just change the color. I mean, that, that, that's a much more precise color there, but that is just gonna print a color and cut it. But if I want to insert a pattern, if I click on pattern, I get this choice here. Now, okay, I'll, I'll choose these diagonal lines to show you that, sorry, it'd take a while. <laughs> yeah, okay. 
So that's quite right. Right, we've got a pattern fill here, and um, I think this is a much neglected feature anyway in Design Space. This um, the fact that you can insert sh um, designs or photographs into uh, sorry patterns or photographs into shapes, and you can see that's really really narrow stripes. And if I want to edit this pattern. If I click on this square again, it's got this now they've got this diagonal uh, stripe in it. If I click on Edit Pattern, I can change the scale so that the stripes are much more sort of in your face. So let me see. I'll put through it. Oh, look at that! No, that's a much more vibrant stripe. And um, I mean, I can flip it. It won't make any difference really. <laughs> Diagonals are different. The, it goes upside down. But you can see how I can manipulate this pattern. And uh, I like those stripes, but. Um, so yeah, you can insert a pattern into it. I mean, I can do the same with the star. So print, choose a pattern. Look from this drop down here again, choose a pattern. It doesn't have to be the same one. Um, yeah, what do I want? Yeah, maybe I want these, um, maybe I want these vertical stripes. There we go. Look, you can see they're quite thin stripes though. And if I want to edit them, I click on this star again, do edit pattern, can make them much bigger, make them, let's see if I put 200 in. There you go, that's nice, isn't it? But the thing is, that's one way of changing what's in this circle. The thing that I'm more likely to do is to add a photograph. And God, you can do so much with these photographs in these shapes. And I want a picture of my lovely cats and, um, there they are, Peter and Dudley. And um, as you can see, um, and this is, the, this is as it used to be, but the thing is that you access it from a different way now. You access it from this top section. And um, now to, to edit it, I need to click on the, like ne in this fill section, I need to click on this square next to it that's now got Peter and Dudley in it. And then I click on edit pattern, and then I get the edit options. And yeah, I think this, look, as you can see, this is tiled. Clearly the scale needs to be bigger. So if I put 200 in, oh no, that's far too big. Or is it? Wait a minute. If I change it to 180, okay. Um, but as was always the case, you need to change the horizontal and vertical settings. What we want is to get the, you want to get the faces in the middle, don't you? So let's play with this a bit. Okay, yeah, 10 is not enough. I'm going to go minus 70. Oh. Maybe minus 90. Oh no, it's a lot more than I thought. It always is though. <laughs> 130. Okay, but um, I mean, that's fine, but you can see that, I mean, this is not the best photograph in the world. Blame the RSPCA for that. But um, okay, I'm gonna put minus 30. Oh no, no, I did, oh, it's moved it down. So what I need to do is plus 30. There we go. As you can see, the edge of the photograph is not as apparent there. So I'm just gonna go 40 there. And I'm maybe move them left slightly. So I'm gonna put 140 there. Nah, 150. Sorry, I'm gonna go 170. Okay, I like that. <laughs> so I'm happy with that. And then there we go, that's that on the, as you can see, that's how we use printer cut now in this new world of this fill at the top. And if I go ahead and make it now, make this now, this will be cut from vinyl, this will be cut as a pattern, and this will be cut as, um, well, it could be a sticker of my cats, but it's a printer cut as well. So yeah, you make it, there we go. You can see that will make these two shapes uh, cut out of, um, with a pattern fill and this other one is just going to be cut out as a from vinyl or from card 